Hello. You ready for the next screen now? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another BHL live stream. Today is or today's game is the final game of the season for everybody. It's going to be a President's Trophy Showdown. Winner of this gets the President's Trophy, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. And the, the options for those, for the teams to, who would love to get it, are the Hartford Whalers, who are visiting today, led by none other than team owner and captain Oiler Raider as well as uh, W5K, Zems, and Vertification, as well as Tort was taken. And then at the other side, it's the Michigan Hornets, the expansion team from the state of car manufacturing. Led by none other than Captain and Owner Lynch here with teammates Jam0828 and starting in net tonight is the EB Gamer. It is time now Ooh, for game. the puck to, or at least officially scheduled to drop. But once again, this is the battle for first place in the league. The winner of this uh, plays the Hollywood Hattricks, who secured fourth place, and the loser is gonna end up having to play Indianapolis in that first round. So W5K starting goal and EB Gamer starting goal. Um, W5K first start of the season in net, but EB obviously, um, don't exactly know how many, but quite a few starts in that. Yeah. And it'll be Evie's first start as a Michigan Hornet. The last game he did not, the last Hornets game, uh, which was against the Indianapolis Racers uh, in Indianapolis, that game Evie did not start. He came in as a uh, relief goaltender for Jack Jack 33. Pucks on the ice, we're underway. Played here by Lynch here. And now a jam, forcing it further. And now it's in the zone. Late hit there by Jets. No call. And now jam picks off the clearing attempt by Jets. Kept alive in the offensive zone, but Birdo clears it out. Here comes Bird. Shoots off the post, and then he got the rebound. First goal of the night from Birdo, unassisted. And that comes only 23 seconds into this period. Off the draw, Birdo winning it again. Lynch here finds Jam. Now they come through neutral. Here's Jam. Both players blocking. And now playing it is Jets. Jets trying to get around Lynch. Buck's still in the zone. Now it's out, but Jam chips it right back in. Along the near side boards, played by Jam. Comes back now. And... Forcing it back in is Lynch here after the puck had been cleared out of the zone. Defending is Birdo, and a good poke of the puck there gets it away, and that's going to end up on the side of the cage. They actually get it out. And now Lynch here, but the puck just went behind him, couldn't get the shot away, and here's a bur for break. Uh, <laughs> Lynch had a Buck's great chance there, and just did not get a slap shot off. Yeah, it it just, he would have had an opportunity, but it the puck just didn't 
He just didn't have the puck where he liked it, never got the shot away. Now here comes Bird through center. Bird over skates it. And now Lindshear through center. Bird picks it off. Can't get past Jam, now he does. Puck's in the zone. Bird trying to steer it on net. Can't quite do so, and it's going to come back to the boards. Centered again. Oiler Raiders shot is denied by Lynch here. And now he'll try and direct it towards the net again. Laid on the far side. Found Tort, but he's checked off it. And now Puck's back in. Jam holds the blue line. No offsides. And the puck comes back out. Here's a break for Tort. Tort! And a save by Evie. He's been playing aggressive all night. And now a break for Lynch here to tie it. And that's broken up. Tort defended that very well. Puck still in the zone. Oiler Raider sends it in. Puck comes back to the blue line held by Tort, but the Second clearing attempt works. It's back in neutral. Played along the near side penalty boxes. And that will do it for the first period of play. You're watching BHL regular season hockey. And speaking of, of trades and... Uh, well, speaking of roster adjustments, as we were yesterday with the whole trade deadline, there has been an offer uh, given from the Shenandoah Scorch offering up Comrade Ginger for the Blizz from the Hatlets. Really? We'll see if that deal goes through. Speaking of trade, since we're on the topic, the um, Hollywood Hatlets... And a shot there almost went through. Uh, Hollywood Hattricks have extended the contract of their goaltender Rams to a two-season, one-way deal. And that was a precautionary measure taken just to make sure that the developing star goaltender doesn't get picked up by this Michigan Hornets team because as you've seen, all season long, they've been really good. Here's a break, Lynch here, saved by W5, kept in by Jam. And now he tries to wow. force his way through, can't quite do so, comes back to the near side boards. Jam directed it towards center, but Tort got in the way of Jam's hopes and dreams and aspirations. And the puck comes back to neutral territory. Jam again. Streaking in, and now it's played by Lynch here, far side. Box back out, and here comes Tort, through center. Tort turned it over. Lynch here quickly swipes it away from trouble. Jet hops on the ice with a bird now. And here comes oh. Lynch here, breakaway, saved by W5. Swiping that puck away. And now aggressive goaltending for E.B. And he comes and he, all the way out of the crease to play it. Back into neutral territory. Jam through center. Trying to get around Jets. Still held in. And a EB big check there by the Bird. Uh, de there could have been goalie interference called on in that play, but I think the uh, referee was not angled right. And that's possibly interference there. No call. Wow. Making it back up is Lynch here. Can't get through Jets. And now sent in. And now Lynch here. Breakaway. Saved by W5. The rebound doesn't fall far from the tree. But Lynch here picking it back and up. The Delayed penalty. penalty call. And as the Whalers touch up, we'll get the penalty. And it's going against Berto. Two minutes for interference. I agree with that call there. Um, he was near the puck, but he had stopped him from getting to the puck. And that's what I think the referee saw in the play. Off. And actually, Roger, more news in terms of trades. 
It seems... Oh! And an opportunity there by Jam. That was a smart play. The rebound oh. off the post! Kept wow. in the offensive zone. Jam holds the line. Trying to find Jam. Lynch here. And he gets to him. The shot saved by W5. Pressure here for the Hornets. Oh my god. How did that puck stay out of the net? What a set of saves for W5K, who's proving why he's a good netminder for this Hartford Whaler squad. And we got a f and we got a fan on the ice. That was Rojo. Was actually, Rojo was punched by a Whaler onto the ice. Played by a jam on the net, and it'll bring it back to the blue line. Uh, as I was saying about the about trades, it seems that Rojo rescinded that trade, took it back, uh, huh. and so now the Hollywood Hatricks definitely going to be looking at Comrade in the off season. But that's going to, unless it's a trade, uh, it, it's not going to be able. To to happen until after the draft, I believe. There is a draft this year. Oiler Raider gets it on net, but another save by Evie. Big check there by Jam, and now trying to get it out are the Hornets still in the zone. Bird, and that puck comes all the way back out of the zone, and that's the Oilers doing. Back in. Aggressive play by EB, and it seems to be working out for now. Here's Lynch here on a breakaway oh. again, and it hit the post. My goodness, how many times has the puck struck iron tonight? Too many. They want it to strike gold. Here's another opportunity, and, uh, and that's going to be a penalty shot. The rebound. Puck Star! Puck. There it is. Jam! And the game's tied at one! Wow. Whalers and, and claim... They're, they're going to challenge this. They're going to challenge the goal and goaltender interference and also the fact that they touched the puck prior to it entering the net, which would effectively end the delayed penalty and put... Michigan on a power play. Let's take a look. And hold on. We're going to need to add time onto that. I think it was at 124. So the that they it was 125. 125. Thank you. Here comes Lynch here on the breakaway. And there's the hit, and yes, they did touch it. But that can't be reviewed. Touch the puck. That can't be reviewed. Oh. And really also looking what? back at it, there was a hit on W5K. Is there goalie interference before that puck enters the net? That's the question. I'm going to slow this <clears> down. And they're saying, he's saying, referee, I'm overhearing the referee say that the hit on W5K had no difference on the puck going into the net. And, and looking back at the replay, you're, that's absolutely correct. So referee making the right call because here. Because if, if you look at the play here, the puck gets shot, and then the, the hit comes from Jam. But and the, play the, way the now. hit play on the puck comes first. Back Coming. underway here. Oh, an extra hit by Bird. And that After goes that back hit. out of play. So the right call comes from the referees. It's tied at one. Off the face off. Puck back to Lynch here. Birdo 
through center, and here he comes. Bird, turn it over. Still alive in the offensive zone, though, as Bird sends it back in. Played behind the net now. Taking his good sweet time is Bird as the defenders crowd the net. Now Bird brings it to the near side. A good check there by Jam prevents Bird from getting to it earlier. And now it's out of the zone. Here comes Lynch here. He's been all, he's been quick uh -oh. tonight. Shot off the post by Jam. But Lynch here has been quick all night, several breakaways, but W5K has been the better. And now it's turned over again, Jam back in. Breaking up the play was Tort, and now it's played further by Jam again. Back out, Lynch here playing it in the neutral zone, and now here comes Bird. Breakaway for Bird, save and the rebound, loose oh. puck! And that's the disadvantage of the aggressive play that we've seen all night for EB. And here comes Lynch here again, speaking of speed. And now it's played here by Bird. Third period comes to a Ooh. close. We're headed to sudden death overtime. Now this game just got interesting. That late third period goal, about a minute 30 in. And Jam, unassisted, gets that goal, ties this game up. The overtime period underway here. Offensive zone. For Hartford, shot oh. wide by Oil. Played out. Now he's going to try and set up Bird. Doesn't quite work. Broken up by Lynchier. Played dangerously close to the net, but he'd be making the save. And now Birdo, once more. Jam takes possession, but it's back into the hands of Lynchier. Puck comes back to the blue line. Oil skids it out. And now it's played along by Jam through neutral territory. Lynch here got it into the zone. And now played here by Jam. Tagging up is Lynch here, so it'll be an onside play. Late hit there by get... Jam. And there's going to be a whistle. They're calling it offside. And, and, it, and the call is right here. I was closer to the play than the broadcast viewed. The play was indeed offside. It was just a delayed offside by the referee. Good call. Question is, though, had Jam ta tagged up? And I don't think he did from my angle. Because it was um, played was... in the zone, and then it comes back in, and its I don't think it's played until after he tags up. My initial reaction to the play when I saw it happened was it was offside. And they all, there is the question of whether um, this puck should go all the way down. But it was not an intentional. Looking back at the replay, we're going to slow this down here. Puck's, puck comes completely out of the zone and then Jam sends it back in. Lynch here had gotten back on side. Really? Press miss a call here. Lynch here back in. Played further by Bird. All the way back down. Bird trying to get a break. Lynch here denies him that right. And now here comes Lynch here breaking in. Shot wide. Possibly broken up by the stick. In the corner. Played along further. And now Bird behind the net. Jam pressuring. 
Bird's just gonna be content to keep it there and try and waste time. And now he'll get it We're all the way out of the zone. Tagging up his jam. And it's back in. Lynch here across to the side. Played again by Jam. Jam winds up, and Birdo blocks it, and it comes out again to neutral. Now that, that's the thing you gotta worry about when trying to take slap shots, is the fact that it does take time to wind them up. Late penalty, penalty call coming up here against the Hornets. And no, actually, it's no, it's against the Whalers. Birdo goes to the box. Just gonna take another quick look. Here's that look at the play that was deemed offsides. Puck gets in, Lynch here tags up, and then Jam gets back into the zone. So it would have been an onside play. Refs missed that one, but it is what it is. They can't go back. Power play opportunity, Jam into the corner. Now Jam, still in the offensive zone. Here by Oil. Oil trying to clear it out, and he does. Here comes Oil, shorthanded. Oil on net, saved Ooh, by Evie. Wow. Still in the zone. Oil chipped it back in. And that'll do it for the first overtime period. We'll go to number two. And now some fans. Getting into some fisticuffs over by the bench areas. And that's going to do it for their um, privileges in adventure mode. Off the draw, oil. And then it's cleared up by, by Lynch here. Jam gets it back in. Oil steering it away from trouble. Played pressure here, centered, and Lynch here oh. doesn't even have the time to get the shot away. Bird and Oil coming through center. Bird in, shot, saving the juicy rebound, and they oh. didn't get the shot away. Wow. And now here comes Lynch the other way. Shot saved by W5. Chance again, and now jam. Pressured by Bird, and Bird clears it out. On the attempt to get it back in, the Whalers pick up the loose change, and here's Birdo breaking it again. Shot oh. wide, centered, and it was off the post. Oiler Raider again. Of that post. Kept at the blue line. Bird, centered. Played out. And now here comes Bird. Bird, breakaway. Shot, loose, score! Oh. Birdo wins it in overtime! And the Hartford Whalers are your season four President's Trophy winners. They're headed to the first round against the Hollywood Hattricks. We'll see if they, if the President's Trophy curse still rings true. Wow. No team that's won the President's Trophy has won the HL Cup. And I think this might even be the second year in a row that the Hartford Whalers have won the President's Trophy. Flash, Flash. We think there was in, in our zone uh, before the goal was scored. Can we I'm challenge that? I'm not, I'm not the right. No, but I just need to know the rule. You can ask them to challenge that. And now some talk of a challenge. All right, like what's, because what's the what's the challenge on Evie? Okay, we think that there was int on us in our zone earlier before the puck even left. Like the puck was still in the zone when they scored. Was it the same offensive attack? Like yeah, same... that's what I'm saying. Okay. I mean, I'll take a look at it, see if I can see what we're talking about. Right. But I'm not the referee; I can't make any final decisions. 
So this game might not be over. I, I it don't might not. I I'm gonna go back. Buck enters the zone there. Both players are behind Birdo on a breakaway. And then the shot gets taken. It ends up off the post, and Evie's wet well out of his crease. He does get hit, but the shot had already gone through him. But they might be talking about something else, so let's just. But the, try but the thing it. is, the puck, the break, the, this goal gets scored on a breakaway. It comes from the neutral zone. If you look at my, if you look at what I'm looking at. From my angle, the shot had already been taken by the time they got two things. But but the question is, do they deem because the puck hits the post? Do they do the refs rule it that the puck was already going into the net and did not need to be hit again, or will they rule this? goalie interference because there was no chance for either Lynchier or Evie to get back. And the other thing, too, I'm, is Evie's I'm well out of the blue paint seeing, here. I am not even seeing where Evie is even hit on this play. 144. I mean, I'm, I'm there, but I do not see him being I, hit. And, and you, you can see the you can kind of see a, it might straight up be a jump, but you can see the, you can see red. I, I don't know if he's jumping or what, but. I think he's just jumping. I don't yeah, see where I, I think he's on straight up just jumping, and I, I think this is a good goal. And no, none of the, uh. Hornet, and none of the uh, whalers have hit any of the hornets on this play. So this is going to stand. This goal will stand. So the whalers take the President's Trophy. Whalers take the President's Trophy. Well, I and I think that what they may they may also be talking about a play, a hit or an interference on a previous play, and then the puck left the zone because looking back at the play that led up to the goal, there was no penalty. So this one's over. The Hartford Whalers. Under the guidance of Bertification and this season as President's Trophy winners, second place goes to the Indianapolis Racers, if I'm not mistaken. Third place will be the Michigan Hornets. And then fourth place, the Hollywood Hattricks. And those, and so the first round matchups will be the Hollywood Hattricks at the Hartford Whalers, and then the Michigan Hornets at the Indianapolis Racers. The Racers looking to go for two here. Yep, and uh, your three stars of the game, number one or number three star is going to go to Jam for scoring one goal for his score. Second star of the game is going to go to W5K for spectacular job and goal. And your number one star is Vertification with two goals, both unassisted, hitting the overtime winner in double OT. Wow. Well, this is the final this is the final game of the regular season. Hence the reason that I title put finale in the title. The next game that it will be featured on this YouTube channel and on Flashies in terms of BHL will be 
round one, game one of the BHL Cup playoffs. We'll, we have yet to see which series it'll be, but it'll be round one, game one for sure. But thank you for tuning in. Playoffs are next. Tomorrow will be some South will be a triple header of Southwest NASCAR uh series racing, one of which will be the Homestead Miami finale. But until then I've been DMP alongside me has been flashy. We've been watching the final regular season game of the season four or the fourth season of BHL. Until the next one, take care, everyone.